I set myself back and I took off about three weeks and I ate whatever I wanted. I wasn't working out. So eventually, long story short, I got back up to like 185, 186. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back. First off, I want to say thank you for all the new subscribers for subscribing and thank you to all the people who have already subscribed for tuning into this video. So this video is personal to me. It is now my three week update on my fitness journey. And if you haven't watched the last video, you should watch it. Me and Jada talk about how we're both starting our fitness journeys and how we want our bodies to be a particular type of way. Now, I was always a athlete. I always played sports. But to me, I felt like I didn't work or train my body physically and appearance-wise to the potential that I feel like it could be. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my goals, what I'm eating, or what I have been eating during these three past three weeks, and just what I've noticed, what I feel has been helping me, and my results. So I hope you enjoy this video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I started this fitness slash health journey around March 29th and I believe that was a Sunday and I weighed 180 pounds now I was pretty much used to weighing 180 pounds I always was in the range of 175 to like 185 but during this past basketball season the season that I just completed the highest weight that I got to was 187 so I was solid and I felt it and I felt big and I felt slow and after the season ended I ended up getting back down to 180 and I decided to start this journey because I didn't want myself to get back up to the high 180s I just felt like I was already at 200 pounds here I'm gonna show you a picture of me after basketball season when I got back down to 180 and you might look at it and say that I'm fine I look fine which I agree I think there's not really any major issues but to me like I said I want to get my body to the best that it can possibly be I felt like I wanted my stomach you know to lose fat percentage in my stomach and tone up my thighs a little bit more and that's pretty much it that I can see from the front what I wanted to change picture of me from the back and in this picture I noticed that I had fat that I wanted to lose in my back and now it's not major again, but it's just something that I felt like I could fix, especially now while I'm not really doing anything to get it to the best shape as possible. But now I'm just going to show you what I looked like from the sides and they're basically, I have the same goals, lose fat percentage in my stomach, my back, my thighs, and just tone all of those areas up. After completing the first week of Kayla's Bikini Body Guide, I lost like one or two pounds. It wasn't really anything, but it was something. It's, that's the healthy amount of weight that somebody would lose in about a week. But then I set myself back and I took off about three weeks and I ate whatever I wanted. I wasn't working out so eventually long story short I got back up to like 185 186 and that's when I started Chloe Ting's challenge uh, I did the two-week abs challenge and I felt like Chloe Ting had a high intensity training which I felt like would boost me up to back to where I basically started at 180 I felt like it would help me lose some fat a little bit quicker 
and would, it would get me back on track. Let's get this straight right now. I am not an expert at what I need to be eating, how much I need to be eating, of what. So my diet is still in the works. I'm still doing a lot of research on what I need for what I want. But I do know that I want to build more muscle, so I know that's going to take protein. I decided to add a lot more protein to my diet and a lot more greens, vegetables, and lay off of the fatty foods, the bad fatty foods. Here are some foods that I've been indulging in that I feel like have helped me out so far. And if you like any of these ideas, you can try them yourself too. So I'll start off with breakfast. For breakfast, I usually switch between oatmeal, eggs, bacon, a yogurt, bananas, uh, or a combination of any of these. Maybe some peanut butter toast with some cut sliced bananas on it. I even ate special case cereal with almond milk. I usually like to incorporate a protein and carbs to give me energy. For my workout later that day and just in general I, I need my carbohydrates as much as I need my protein for my lunches it usually includes a salad which has spinach with garden mix salami white chicken yellow pepper rings olives shredded cheese pepper seasoning and Italian dressing or I'll go with some tuna sandwiches uh, which obviously includes tuna, olives, pickles, mustard, mayo, some pepper seasoning, and green onions. And then for the tuna sandwiches, I'll use flatbread. And for dinner, there's been a couple of meals that I really like that I feel like tasted good and were good for me. One of them is an Italian dish with Italian sausage, peppers, and a marinara sauce on a bed of rice. Yeah, there's a bunch of really good stuff out there that you can try for yourself um, oh and I do have a cheat meal every Sunday so whether that be a breakfast meal a dinner meal dessert dinner and dessert just know I'll be cheating on Sunday so this is me after week three or at the end of week three I'm going to weigh myself in the morning before I eat anything. And it says I'm 179.6. And here we are. Here's me facing you. And it does look like I've lost some belly fat, which is good. Uh, let's turn around. Still need some work in the back, but it's getting better. Side. The belly is looking a lot be better, I feel like. And overall, I just feel better. I feel lighter. And I think everything is going good. There are a couple of things that have helped me along the way that I feel like have given my body like a type of boost, like just some extraness, just you know that secret ingredient, that secret ingredient. But one of those things is uh, I got this whey protein and comment below if you've used this before just comment on your results and if you liked it or if you didn't like it but this is what i'm trying for right now i usually take my protein shakes in the between meals either before or after my workout i also take vitamins so one of the vitamins is echinacea to help with immunity and 
a natural vegetable cleanse vitamin with senna extract plus fennel seeds and it says it may support healthy colon function so i take this too i feel like my body really likes that it's also really important to drink a lot of water so i bought this water bottle from myers i believe and this is a 40 ounce water bottle water bottle this is a 40 ounce water bottle I drink about like two of these a day. A couple other things that I've been using to help out when I work out are sweat inducers. So I have this sweat vest that I zip up and strap around my stomach to help with sweat. And I have these ankle weights. These are three pounds each yeah I think these are three pounds each and last but not least I just want to tell you all that you are all beautiful and just to keep your head up if you're going through any type of journey this fitness journey minimize comparing yourself to others remember that you need to be patient i have to remember that all the time oh my gosh i obsess sometimes over this journey like i expect to see results the next day honey but no you can't do that your body needs time to adjust you have to take rest days there's a lot that goes into it. You need to find out things that work for you because what works for other people may not work for you and what may work for you may not work for other people. So this is all a process and you just have to trust the process. I feel like it's all worth it in the end. If you're really trying to reach that goal, it'll be all worth it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Be sure to please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you stay updated on me and Jada, and we can return the favor. Bye.